to describe a man in five words. I'll say courageous, resilient, compassionate, driven, complex. A man should be visionary, responsible, hardworking, selfless, and uh, dependable. A man is understanding, a man is intuitive, a man is intelligent. I'll describe a man in five words. Dependable, provider, protector, ambitious, charismatic. Men, like all individuals, are a combination of qualities that make them uniquely human. These five words represent the strength, depth, and diversity that define the essence of manhood. Today, we come together to celebrate, reflect, and address a crucial theme, zero male suicide. Zero male suicide in society means a society that appreciates. When you appreciate, you bring hope, encouragement. For me, is to ask that what's my contribution to making sure that people don't get to the point where they give up in life to the point where, you know, the last option they have is to say that they want to leave the world. So I would say it's playing my part, supporting fellow men like myself, you know, to be able to uh, not get to the point where suicide is an option. Zero men suicide simply means the initiative to eliminate suicide amongst men. So how can we achieve zero male suicide? Given that men can bottle up their feelings, imagine a world where vulnerability is not a weakness, but a shared strength. It starts with fostering a culture of openness, one that embraces vulnerability as a courageous act. Often, we hear men say they are not celebrated enough. How I would want to be celebrated? Show me appreciation and acknowledgement. For me, it should be a day that um, especially my voice is heard, uh, my opinions are respected, uh, my small wins are also promoted, you know. Um, it will make me feel special and uh, it will make me feel highly celebrated. The men that have had uh, the biggest influences in my life will be my dad. He was very exemplary for perseverance taught me the value of knowledge and hard work and uh, most uh, outstandingly it, it was a, it taught me the value of relationship management. So we're in a society where it is believed that because you're a man, okay, you should, you are the macho man, you can't speak up when you have problems. Even when you do, you know, people have a way of telling you to, uh, you can sort yourself out, you know, and all that. So some of the things we can do is to, em to embrace um, openness, you know, to let people be able to speak up their minds, to teach people more about seeking the help of experts, you know. Possibly you need to see a counselor, you need to see a coach, a therapist, you know, to be able to open up. But significantly, it should be for societal expectations of the man-child and of course cultural influences. I believe with proper orientation and awareness, a lot of men will definitely come out of their shell and be more vulnerable. In this fast-paced world, it's so easy to get caught up in the wild world of daily activities and responsibilities that we ignore our mental health. It's even more challenging for men. Why? The society expects us to be strong and stoic. Um, however, it's crucial to remember that mental health is a critical component of overall health and taking care of it is equally important. As the CEO of Workers Group, I am deeply committed to creating a work environment where everyone feels supported and they feel safe to talk about their mental health without fear of judgment or stigma. In conclusion, achieving zero male suicide is not just an aspiration. It's a commitment we make to one another. Let's create a world where every man feels seen, heard, and supported. Together, we can rewrite the narrative, redefine strength, and build a future where no man walks alone. Happy International Men's Day to all. Happy International Men's Day. 
Happy International Men's Day. Happy International Men's Day. Happy International Men's Day. May it be a day of reflection, connection, and positive change.